One of the nation's most storied rivalries takes center stage today in Columbia, Missouri. The top-ranked Kansas Jayhawks and the Missouri Tigers. Kansas starting Drew Gooden, Nick Collison, Kirk Heinrich, Aaron Miles, a freshman, and Jeff Boshi from Missouri, Ricky Paulding, Trayvon Bryant, Arthur Johnson, Kareem Rush, and senior Clarence Gilbert. Kansas undefeated in conference play, 19 straight conference wins overall. With John Sundbold, this is Kevin Harlan. Undefeated in conference play this season, John, unheard of. The only team that can do it this year in Major Division I basketball is this Kansas squad. But this will be their toughest foe of the season. And Gooden's first shot is retrieved by Clarence Gilbert. And Kareem Rush into Bryant, whacked by Collison. He picks up a foul for Kansas. Missouri has won five of the last six here in the Hurd Center in Columbia. They want to get out to a fast start. Missouri has been up and down this season. Kevin, they have struggled against strong physical teams. But with the tempo that Kansas wants to play, I think Missouri wants to get up and down, try to free their shooters in Gilbert and Rush. And those two guys, you think the key for Missouri this afternoon? Yeah, I believe so. Dream Rush, again, another guy that's been up and down for the season, has not been a big-time player in their big-time games, and he needs to this afternoon. Kansas 15-0, and as John just told you, not a single team in major college division one going for an undefeated conference record. 19 straight conference wins dating back to last season. In the first matchup in Lawrence, won by Kansas, 105-73, 43-42 at halftime. Kansas scored 62 points in the second half. They're explosive. And it's Heinrich the junior with a good screen. Rush is following Heinrich in. Good matchup, holding on Boshi. Boshi, Boshi has shot the ball extremely well this season. Here's Gooden trying to carve his way inside and ties the game at two. Now, terrific junior season for Drew Gooden. Can hit from all angles. Even though he's 6'10", puts it on the floor extremely well. Holden coming off a 21-point game the other night here against number 12, Oklahoma State, in a Missouri three-point win. Gilbert, the only senior, will look for his shot early, I believe, in this ballgame. Kareem Rush. Bryant. Nice defense by Gooden. Well, Bryant's got to finish that one. Rush uh, wide of the mark. Heinrich did a good job in Lawrence on it. Rush for three. He's missed his first two. And out of bounds. What kind of defensive team is Kansas? Well, yeah, Kansas, man-to-man -man defensively, they will give you a few looks. They want this game up and down the floor. They want more possessions on the offensive end. And how about Missouri on the defensive end? Yeah, Missouri, man-to-man -man defensively, has not, has really struggled in the physical game. They're going to have to rebound the ball better than they have against some of their opponents. A Kansas foul on an Aaron Miles miss. And this goes on Gooden, who picks up his first in his 14th season. Roy Williams, the head coach of the Kansas Jayhawks. Many people think he should be the conference coach of the year. Others say Bob Knight at Texas Tech. We'll talk about that later on. Here's Rush with Heinrich on him. Clarence Gilbert for three. Senior day. You look for seniors to have big ball games. It's good. Rushes on Heinrich. Batted by Gooden, retrieved by Boshi, and a fresh shot clock. Tough shot attempt by Heinrich. And Gooden from the field has gone one of three to start the game. Come on, Scooper! And a rejection inside. Simeon made it. A well, good block by Simeon hustling back defensively. Gilbert thought he had one coast to coast, likes to pull up for the shot, but the explosion to the rim, and there was the freshman Wayne Simeon. Simeon quickly out, and Ben Collison comes in the game. Trayvon Bryant will check out as you take a look at Quinn Snyder and Justin Gage has come in for Snyder, who's in his third year as the coach of the Missouri Tigers. In the first meeting with these two teams, Kansas beat Missouri and Lawrence by 32 points as the Jayhawks shot 62% from the field. 
from the field, from the three-point line, also 62, 90% from the free throw line. It was a clinic on the offensive end. <laughs> we can look at it, and it was a one-point game at halftime back on the 28th of January. If you are a basketball fan, you will enjoy watching Kansas play. They're an unselfish team. They give the ball up to each other. An outstanding shooting team. They lead the country in scoring, field goal percentage, and number two in three-point percent. Roy Williams' ball club, it is a, a fun group to watch. They are fixing something on the floor. I guess it's nothing more than moisture. Well, initially, I think there are some bodies that Missouri trying to line up in a straight line. Kirk Heinrich tried to step in between the offensive players and kind of mix things up a little bit. The Jayhawks, one of the best shooting teams in the country, number one scoring team, number one shooting team, number four in three point percentage. Kevin, they are average 21 assists a ball game. We mentioned unselfish. They take high quality shots from their best shooters, and the first eight guys that walk on the court can all score the ball. And John Shockley for Kansas, they start three guys from the backcourt, all under 6 4. And every one of those players, Boshi, Heinrich, and Miles, have played point guard at some time. Ricky Solomon knocks in a three point shot. Missouri is hit two threes. Gage breaks up the pass. Here comes Kareem Rush. Ricky Paulden, who came off the bench earlier in the season and now starts for Mizzou. May uh, have had the most consistent of years for Quinn Snyder. It's Gilbert Clayton. Clarence Gilbert has started two of three from the field. Boshi to Miles to Collison. In for Gooden. The pass a bit wayward and out of bounds and off the number one ranked Jayhawks. Kansas has not, as John said earlier, had a lot of success in this building over the last many years. Well, five of the last six in the last couple of years, Missouri has played extremely well when they're on their home court and their shooters are shooting. Difficult to beat. Kareem Rush, but they wipe it away with the charge. Good job defensively, weak side. Jeff Boshi, the senior, sliding over. Good backdoor cut, though, by Rush. Missouri had the win over 12th ranked Oklahoma State on Monday a couple days off back to practice on Thursday Kansas beat Kansas State Wednesday by 35 in Lawrence which takes us to this afternoon now what's amazing about Kansas at being 15 and 0 Kevin is that not only do they get the best shot from everybody which they do year in and year out but when you're undefeated and sitting number one in the country they have had to go on the road and try to pull out some tough wins. Heinrich from three and from outside, and Heinrich, one of the great three-point shooters on the Jayhawks. As Missouri comes the other way. You mentioned Heinrich at 46% three-point shooter set a conference record at 15.5% a year ago. Collison, he shoots 60%, lobs it in for good news, fouled, count the two. Now there's the unselfish play and the vision that all of these Jayhawks have. Collison might have had a jump shot himself. He took a peek. Drew Gooden standing open inside. Yeah, but anytime you travel on the road, especially conference play, you've got to withstand really the first four or five minutes of emotion that a home team will have and a home crowd will have. The Missouri foul goes on Gage. It is a three-point game. Trayvon Bryant back in. Clarence Gilbert for three. And a good rebound. And right on target. Shot that in. Same angle we're looking at. Hit front rim. The freshman Miles into the junior Collison. And here's Drew Good, maybe the college basketball player of the year. Miles inside around Johnson. And ricochets on the bound. They are playing off Aaron Miles. He's going to have to start looking for a shot a little bit. Missouri has led by as many as eight. Their lead is at three in the Rocket Home Center in Columbia. In the last six seasons, Missouri has dealt Kansas its first conference loss of the season. The Jayhawks come in unbeaten in conference play this afternoon. Kevin Harlan with John Sunvold. The place is rocking. Missouri holding their own. They've hit a couple threes. Again, Missouri likes the up-tempo pace. They want open shots by their shooters. Gilbert off to a good start early. No substitutions for either team. As we come back to the timeout, Tigers led by eight, they're up by three. Changing defensively that time by Kansas, little trap at half court. The 
right now, the story of the game so far, Kevin, is defensively. Missouri's been pretty good against this Kansas team. A Boshi foul right there. As Ricky Paulding tried to maneuver the ball around. Missouri was off for two days this week, John, after playing on Monday. What do you think about that this time of the season? Well, it's good at this time of the season. Big win against Oklahoma State on Monday night. Maybe, maybe secured the uh, bid in the NCAA tournament. Rush across the lane. Paulding for three. For a tough shot. Boshi right in his face. Ricky Balding has put up two shots, both three-point shots, both right on the money. And a foul called on the Tigers. Arthur Johnson was inside, shoving in the big center out of Detroit. A sophomore picks it up. You know, Paulding up to 43% from the th beyond the three-point line this in his sophomore season. You mentioned 21 against Oklahoma State on Monday night. Really the key reason why the Tigers won that ball game. Justin Gage is back in. Johnson is on the bench for Missouri. About five minutes gone here in the first half. Clarence Gilbert backing off Aaron Miles. Miles is going to have to pick up the slack, make up the slack by the dribble. Collison with the drive and one of the great shooters in the game, over 60% from the field. I think he'll need more touches this afternoon. Put pr pressure on Trayvon Bryant or Arthur Johnson inside. Boshi with the steal. Had a big steal last week at Nebraska. Heinrich flies. Rejected by Coleman. And it's Kansas' ball. We have seen the speed by Heinrich before. As fast as anyone at getting the ball to the basket, but Ricky Paulding, a high flyer, can go up with anybody. Terrific hustle, great block. Wesley Stokes comes in now for Missouri. He will man the point. He was the starting point of the season. And when he wasn't getting it done, they put Clarence Gilbert there. But now guards Heinrich, and it goes into Collison, who's hit two in a row from the same spot. Good set play, good pass by Heinrich right on the money, away from the defender. Stokes from Long Beach, California. Clarence Gilbert from Fort Lauderdale, working on Boshi. Missouri, 4-9 to begin the game, shooting from the field. Trayvon Bryant. And a Langford rebound for Kansas. Boshi slides the other way for two. Cannot take a chance unless you have a steal at half court. If you can make the steal, fine. If you miss that steal, as Gilbert did, Boshi, Heinrich, Miles, Langford, they will make you pay. Gooden is on the bench. Gilbert for three. Missouri senior Clarence Gilbert has hit two three-point shots to begin the game. A week ago from Saturday, Clarence Gilbert made 12 threes in a ball game. When he gets hot, which is a Big 12 record, he will keep looking for that shot. Fourth best in college basketball ever. And Roy Williams made a statement that said that Gilbert is one of those players that can get shots off no matter who is defending, and if he's hot, he is difficult to go. Collison in mid-stride, takes it up, was fouled on the play. John just talked about the senior Gilbert in Boulder last week, Saturday, against Colorado. He was incredible. 12 of 17 beyond the three-point line. Got a lot of open looks early. Late in that game against Colorado, they were challenging him, but Clarence answered. But he has been a streaky shooter. Monday night, he was 0 for 7 beyond the three-point line. Jeffrey Ferguson will check in for the first time this afternoon for the Missouri Tigers with Arthur Johnson. Stokes remains. Kareem Rush is in there. In the free throw line is Collison for Kansas. Simeon, the freshman from Leavenworth, Kansas, puts it in. Collison, a 56% free throw shooter. It looked like Missouri got caught flat-footed. You shouldn't be. If you know the personnel, you have to understand the guy's a 50% shooter. Has a chance probably to miss one or two. Jayhawks with their first lead. Holden will try to erase it. Rush was inside, battling with Langford. Jeff Carey will check in the game now for Kansas. His father played at the University of Missouri back in the early 70s. A captain, actually, 1964. Bob Anetta was the coach. We talked to him last week after a ball game, and Ray Carey said, well, it's interesting. Obviously a Kansas fan now, but when Jeff graduates, I'll get out the black and gold once again. Holding was driving inside. The foul was called. Carey was right there. And a foul. Carey, a 50-year senior, big ball game last Sunday in their win against Nebraska. A couple big rebounds, big putback. 88-87 win in Lincoln. John, there is no doubt that the Missouri Tigers can take a gigantic step today 
with the win over the top ranked team in the country. Well, when you talk about NCAA bids, uh, are they on the bubble? Probably not. They should be in 20 wins above a 500 record. They're nine and six in conference play in a tough conference. But if you can win today, now you talk about seeding. Where you're seeded, where do you go, where do you push? Motion the other way. Carey, Langford, Simeon, and Heinrich out there for the Jayhawks. Into Simeon. Johnson defending. And a rebound by Jeffrey Ferguson. Stokes better coming off the bench than as a starter. He has been, and he's been more calm. Shoots only open shots, has been very good with the assist to turnover ratio. And as the start of the game, 53% from the field. Missouri, 38% from the floor. As Simeon checks out Drew Gooden, comes back in. Who is your college player of the year? Gooden at Kansas? I like Gooden. Uh, Jason uh, Williams. I like Gooden. I think uh, Jason Williams has had a couple ball games and has cost his team uh, dearly uh, down the stretch of games, and one was the other night against Virginia. I think Gooden has been solid from uh, the minute they've tossed it up early. Stokes and a Boshi foul again. Not a good foul by Boshi out front. You're guarding a player that's uh, really a non-offensive factor as far as shooting the ball. Boshi going for a steal and then the little grab. Boshi's got two fouls. He will sit on the bench along with Simeon Collison. Kansas has Kerry, Miles, Gooden, and Langford, the freshman from Fort Worth who won the game at Lincoln hey, hey. a week ago today against Nebraska. Josh Crumpy is now in for Missouri. Arthur Johnson, who has played great, losing it inside. Good to Miles. To Heinrich. They didn't let the ball touch the floor when they go the other way. Well, again, unselfish play. They will swing the ball, the movement, the screens for each other. Missouri's done a nice job there challenging every shooter except that time. Langford, very good at putting it on the floor. One of those gifted players with a big rage game. Only a freshman. The other way was Gilbert with a foul on Kansas. Missouri has won by as many as eight. Jayhawks now holding on to a three-point lead, and this is their biggest of the game. And how quickly Missouri trying to put it on top of this Jayhawk team. We've talked all season long about how Kansas, how fast they are going from the defensive end to the offensive end. Missouri trying to do the same. There's Clarence Gilbert at the free throw line, and he is an 81% free throw shooter. Check out the road to the Final Four. Games of impact delivered by UPS at cbs.sportsline.com. Or on America Online, enter keyword CBS Sportsline. Partner March Madness is here. <laughs> Feel it. it is fun. With John Sunbold, Kevin Harlan, the Hearn Center in Columbia filled to capacity. It's been a close game so far, but number one ranked Kansas on top of Missouri, 20 to 18. Sports coverage of the Road to the Final Four is sponsored by Suzuki, maker of innovative motorcycles and all-terrain vehicles. Kinko's Network, on-site, off-site, and everything in between. Tap into the network. And by Singular the wireless company that supports self-expression nationwide. The three-point shot by Nebraska last week was key. They hit 18 against number one right Kansas. Missouri hoping for the same thing this afternoon. Tigers off to a good start. Four of eight beyond the three-point line. They have set a Big 12 record in the Colorado game at 20 makes. And we saw, as you mentioned, Kevin, last week when teams shoot the three-pointer away, uh, things change in a hurry. Missouri has led by as many as eight. They're only shooting 35%. Kansas has led by as many as three. The freshman from Portland, Oregon, Aaron Miles, to Kirk Heimer. And yeah, the key so far early, I believe Kansas has taken one of Missouri's best shots and still have a two-point lead. And if Missouri here. can stay at this pace. Gilbert can tie. Rejected by Gooden, who swats him to the side. And a second foul is picked up inside. Great hustle defensively. Drew Gooden is back on the baseline, outruns everybody, and here he comes. Shot goes up in the block. They've taken away the foul, and they've just called out of bounds, 31 seconds. So one official overruling the other. Here comes Holden. And what a play defensively. I think Gilbert thought he had an open layup. Kareem Rush. Arthur Johnson, who's averaging 18 points and 10 rebounds over the last handful of games, 
shows you why. He yeah. can move the pile. Uses that big, solid body. Big frame, 6'9", 280. Loves a little jump hook with the right hand. There's Gooden with the shot. A rebound by falling inside. Kansas from the field, 9 of 18. Pollard. Johnson trying for it. Foley ball for Heinrich in a foul. It's on Kansas. Arthur Johnson is a 6'9 sophomore and one of the top scorers and rebounders in the Big 12. 12 points, 8 rebounds in his sophomore season. We mentioned the big win against Oklahoma State on Monday. 18 points in that ball game. 14 rebounds also. And with Johnson at the strike, Kansas has already captured their third Big 12 regular season title. As we take a look at Johnson and some of his numbers in the categories that matter. How tough a team, John, is Missouri? Probably where they have lacked the most, physically toughness. Uh, they have struggled in the games against an Oklahoma or a Texas or a Texas Tech team that physically get after you. Remember, this is a team that in the preseason many picked the Tigers to be a top 10 team. They climbed to number two in the ranking and now are no longer ranked. They've had some big ups, but they've had a lot of downs. Good man, six were tied at 22. Green Rush from Kansas City. Rush having a hard time finding any looks. But Stokes, Rush. Defense by Bryant. Gershaw just checks in, but he can't stop Curry Rush. With his brother Gerard, you may recall, played at UCLA. Aaron Miles lost it inside to Bryant. Here comes Rush, a two-on-one. Now Kansas back defensively. Rush for three! Another guy you can't leave if he's bringing the ball down the floor. Nash ran away from him. It's in the good. And rejected by Missouri as they pick up a foul. It's a five-point game. As Kareem Rush buries the fifth three-point shot for Missouri this afternoon. He saw Brian Nash running beside him and kind of going down the middle of the floor. Now you have to go attack him. Kareem Rush can score in a hurry. Only 20 points a ball game. And when he hits one or two, he might hit five or six in a row. John, everybody in talking about the number one ranked Kansas Jayhawks talks about their high basketball IQ. They are I think in the view of many, Roy Williams' team, a thinking basketball team. You've got to stay with that. You've got to understand scouting reports, what players you're guarding, who you see coming down the floor at all times. And any lapses against a good player or a good team will cost you. Britain's got seven. And he leads Kansas. Nine from Gilbert, seven from Ricky Potter. Missouri shooting 42%. Clarence Gilbert. Is that Boshi, the third personal? Boshi just picked up his third, and that is an early story in this game. Now, Jeff has had such a good senior season, this Kansas team. Big shots that he's made down the stretches. He hit one at Iowa State, a couple big threes in the win on the road at Texas last week when they were down 12 at Nebraska. Two threes that got him close in that ball game, and then they won. Now he will sit out the rest of this half with three personal fouls. Missouri now by five. They've led by eight. How worthy, John, is Missouri in the NCAA landscape right now, as without this game included? Well, I believe they're in, again. But you do not want to give any reason not to be in. They will, if they were to lose today, they will travel to play the first round. They would play Iowa State on Thursday in the Big 12 tournament. Great pass by Gruden inside. That would maybe put pressure on this Tiger team to win on Thursday. Kansas, 55% from the field. Rush. Gooden bats it. Retrieved by Miles into Stokes. And a nice rebound inside by Clarence Gilbert. Good pace. to Rush. Here he comes. Slashing across the way. Oh, uncovered Arthur Johnson. Quinn Snyder likes his pace, Kevin. This is the Kansas pace. They want to push, they want to get good looks. It's good to get. Rebound by Stokes and a foul on Missouri. A shove on the rebound try. 
Missouri's coaching staff feels that they can get out the ball out and run. And if the big players run, you might find some loose ends on the other side. And Arthur Johnson hustling down for the follow up. Let's look at Roy Williams. Is he your Big 12 Conference Coach of the Year? Yeah, he is. He took a team that, again, predicted to win the league, but as tough as this league has been, and they've gone 15 0 trying to go undefeated. A marvelous job. And again, it's the way that this Kansas team approaches the game. They're unselfish, well disciplined, don't force a lot of shots. They play on the defensive end. There are some numbers on Roy Williams. 13th consecutive season of 20 wins or more. Now, there are other people in this conference to take a look at Texas Tech Red Raider coach Bobby Knight. Well, Bobby Knight has done a solid job. 21 wins. Uh, they will finish the tie for third, which uh, no one predicted them up there. Kelvin Sampson has done a wonderful job at Oklahoma with a lot of new faces. They may be a number one seed in the NCAA tournament also. Kansas trying to become the first team in the short history of the Big 12 to go undefeated in conference plays. And Snyder has a word. Stokes, Justin Gage, Kareem Rush, Trayvon Bryant, all out there. Ricky Paulding is the fifth Missouri Tiger. When you think of undefeated in the old Big 8, these are the last two teams that have done it. 1994 Missouri 14-0. Melvin Booker, Big 8 player of the year that year, 1971. Kansas went 14 0. Dave Robish, big eight player of the year that year. Stokes is hurt. At the other end, good. And Heinrich against Ricky Paulding. Shot clock at 25, plenty of time. Goodens in a straight jack. Solid, solid defense by Justin Gage. Langford slashing down the big swan. It's a rebound by Gage and out to Curry Rush. With Missouri leading by four, they left that by eight early in the game, 10 to two. Ricky Paulding. He's got nine. And movement on the offensive end away from the ball has been good for Missouri. The cuts are harder, the picks are more solid. John, right now, we've just seven and a half minutes remaining in the first half but this appears to be amongst Missouri's prettiest beginnings to a game this season and that's why they're on top but number one ranked Kansas 33 to 27 our game summary Missouri is led by eight Kansas is led by as many as three yeah good ball game good pace both teams playing well offensively shooting the ball well Who's in, who's out, who's playing whom and when? Get it first and get it fast on the NCAA Basketball Championship Selection Show presented by United Airlines. For more, go to cbs.sportsline.com. America Online, keyword, CBS Sportsline with John Sunbold, Kevin Harlan in a jam-packed home center number on the one. Norm Stewart Court here in Columbia, Missouri. And number one seed, you think Kansas, Duke, Maryland, and then who fills in the fourth? Kansas shooting 47% from the field, and uh, Heinrich, a good spoon feed from around the circle, and the Jayhawks to within four. Good pass by Miles, good find. Aaron Miles, as a freshman, has had a terrific year. Four to one in assist to turnover ratio in conference play. Missouri plus four in rebounding to begin the game, and they're shooting 43%. Nice denial inside by Simeon, retrieved by Heinrich. Into Miles! by Heinrich and in it goes. It's like a, a circus that's flying all over the place. It's the kind of game you like to watch. Up and down, the pace is terrific. Simeon, the freshman, just picks up a Kansas foul. Kirk Heinrich, who has moved up the scoring ranks, now at uh, over 1,000 points in his career in his junior season. His dad, a high school basketball coach, he was the co Mr. Basketball in the state of Iowa with his teammate Carlson for the Jayhawks. They come together as a package. Now, he almost didn't go to Kansas, Heinrich. Committed to Iowa State, Tim Floyd. Then Tim Floyd left in his junior season. Committed to Iowa State. Tim Floyd then went to take the Bull Chicago Bulls job. Which we all question way back then for Tim Floyd. Don't do that. I mean, Michael's not there. You know he's going to emerge on the college scene, <laughs> oh, sure, I would assume. Sure. In the next Terrific coach. Six months. Brent Ballard has now come in for Kansas, a senior point guard. And Iowa and Iowa State fans uh, both said that uh, 
Hollis and, and Heinrich both left the stage. Clarence Gilbert's top shot. Clarence Gilbert has 13 points. He has knocked down two three-point shots. Missouri again by five. Six and a half to play in the half. Brett Ballard. Drew Good. And Wayne Simeon. Simeon, a powerful post player, but has a soft touch on the turnaround. Good shooter from 15 feet in. Rookie balling again. Down the lane. Rejected by Simeon. And the Jayhawks have their third block shot of the afternoon. Anytime you turn the corner, you know Kansas will come from the weak side to help. The key, if you're an offensive player, sometimes you may miss a shot, but if he throws that high off the glass, Missouri has two offensive rebounders on the other side. Cage is gone. Crocky back in for the Tigers with Johnson, Bryant, Gilbert, and Paulding. Rush out the Missouri bench for Coach Quinn Snyder. Langford trying to defend Paulding. Johnson lost it. Collison has it. And a foul on Missouri. Trayvon Bryant, he did. He got it. And for Bryant, number two, he is the only Tiger with two fouls. Kansas has three on Jeff Boshi, thus he is on the bench, and thus they bring in the third guard, the Ballard. Kevin, the tendency you have when you play in these kind of big ball games and the pace is so fast, on the offensive end, you, be, you bunch up too much. Everybody's in the paint, everybody's trying to push it. What you've got to do is be patient enough, even though the pace is good, to keep the floor spread. Both teams, if they keep it spread, that frees up their shooters and frees up the lane to drive the ball. Collison has it. Thursday in America's number one reality show. The survivors have just arrived on the island. They've been given no food. Now they're hunting, gathering, and building a brand new civilization. Don't miss an all new survivor, Mark Pieces. Thursday on CBS. Frankie checks out. Bring back in Stokes. And Ricky Paulding is gone as well. And when Stokes comes in, it allows Clarence Gilbert to go to more of a natural two guard shooting position. Come off more screens looking for his spot. And that's a lot of that that John to go from the two guard to the point guard. But yeah, he's in his senior season. I mean, he committed himself to making sure this Tiger team could get some wins. Intercepted by Collison in the turnover category this afternoon. Missouri and Kansas about the same. That's a three-point hit, and it's outside and authored by Kirk Heinrich. Recognition of who you're guarding. Heinrich got a screen. Gilbert went underneath the screen. You better chase over the top. Heinrich will make you pay. That gives the visiting number one ranked Kansas Jayhawks a two-point lead. Here's where one time, as John mentioned earlier, number two in the country, beginning 9-0. They then staggered midseason. They've won 20 games. And Coach Quinn Snyder looking for his third consecutive NCAA bid here at the University of Missouri. They are on the fringe right now as you take a look at their season. Well, early in the season, coming off the loss in the NCAA tournament last year against Duke, they started eighth, going all the way to number two, and then tough losses to Iowa, Illinois, and a bad one at DePaul, and all of a sudden they're finding themselves when they got to conference play in one of those positions where they had to win more games. They struggled on the road against the tougher, more physical teams in the Big 12. Missouri Tigers this afternoon have had five three-point shots. Kansas, two. Here's another three by Rush. Because of their offensive ability, though, there are a team you really don't want to match up with when tournament time starts. Heinrich outside the line, good for three. And the Jayhawks have their biggest lead this afternoon, 41-36, a lead of five. Ball movement, body spacing, find the shooters. Langford delivered there as he did last Sunday, the game winner against the Cornhusk. Gilbert into Arthur Johnson. Simeon with the rebound. Oh, that's strong rebound. Kansas, one of the better rebounding teams in the Big 12. Number two coming into this afternoon. Take a look at how this Kansas team pushes, and the floor is spread. Good penetration. Wide open look for Langford. Confident stroke. He came off that screen in Lincoln, Nebraska. Down the stretch, they're down. No hesitation. Turn, fired that three-pointer into win. Kansas starts Boshi, Heinrich, and Miles. All under 6'4", but John all either current or one-time starting point guards for the Jayhawks. So any of the three, when they get a rebound, can push to the other end. Gilbert for three. Collison 
Anderson. He may have taken a step and didn't get caught. Here comes Gilbert the other way. Two on one. Buckle up for Kareem Rush. Good steal by Missouri, but sloppy ball handling by Kansas. You got to give it to him in the post. Collison's on the block. Got to give it to him. He's Rush. too good down low. Rush has nine. Here comes Collison. Rebound by Gilbert. Tore it away from Ballard, who picks up the Kansas foul. Clarence Gilbert leads the Tigers, leads the game with 13 points. Well, the ability to stop and, and to come off shots and shoot it. Rush with the follow up there, and this time a steal by Clarence in the alley oop. Rush with easy finish. Here's Clarence Gilbert at the free throw line. Two consecutive wins for the Missouri Tigers coming into this afternoon. Who of five overall? And it again, bears repeating. Missouri has won five of the last six games against Kansas in Columbia. In fact, two straight. And of course, when Kansas has gone for an undefeated conference season, Missouri has been their only conference loss back in 97 and 98, both times here. Simeon approaching four to play in the first half. Heinrich wheels and oh, fires. Shot. What a shot! Heinrich, the ability to put the ball on the floor and keep the ball away from the defender. This is body work. Heinrich's got 10. Rush to Johnson. Bulldozing inside. And Gage out to Gilbert. A fresh shot clock at 35 seconds. A seductive fake, and here comes Gilbert. Miles the rebound. Heinrich wasn't expecting the pass. And off Missouri. Each team in single digits in turnovers. Missouri is at five three-point shots. It's a two-point game in the first half. Tonight on the CBS Sunday Movie, for the first time ever, Oscar winner Diane Keaton comes to broadcast television. Co-starring with Jennifer Jason Lee in an unforgettable true story, crossed over. That's tonight on CBS. And coming up at the singular at the half, Greg Gumbel will get you caught up on a busy day of college basketball scores and highlights, plus a look at Illinois junior Frank Williams, who after a slow start is elevating his game just in time for March Madness. That's on the singular at the half with John Sungle, Kevin Harlan. In Columbia, Missouri, Brett Ballard is in at the point. Miles remains in there as well. And Roy Williams has not been happy in this game with some of the decision making though Aaron Miles has made. He pushes in a hurry, but it sometimes it gets too congested in the paint. Ballard has a terrific game last Sunday against Nebraska. The fouls on Missouri. With 313 to play, the Missouri Tigers have led by as many as eight. Kansas Jayhawks have led by as many as five. Paulding picks up his first. Clarence Gilbert leading all scores with 14. Heinrich has 10 for the Jayhawks at the free throw line is policy. John mentioned before, just 56% from the free throw line. John, Kansas has been in the top eight all season, number two since mid-February. Tell me about the pressure they're going through right now. I think this team doesn't play with pressure. Watching them as, as often as I have, they just simply play the game regardless of score. That's maybe the reason why I like them so much. They just continue to play. They have not looked at any time as though they're trying to save some games. They just keep going at all times. Clarence Gilbert gives you a different move with every part of his body. <laughs> what? He's got 16. His off-balance shots are off-balance for him. That is how he takes it to shoot. Kansas on top by four. A foul called on Ballard. And Gilbert has done that all afternoon long. Stopping on a dime. One deceptive move after another. And that will take him to the free throw line right now. It's ball fake. Kind of a herky-jerky move. He will lift his shoulders, move him around a little bit. Good pump fake there. Goes back to the foul line. Only four of six from the line this afternoon. 80% free throw shoot. Missouri at the line is a team 10 of 14. Kansas 8 of 12. As you take a look, John, at Missouri's NCAA chances, this uh, RPI, which is such, it seems for so many, a defining factor of where teams should be, where they might be headed, where they've been, 
how does Missouri rank in terms of all that and where they could be going? Well, they've gone below the number 50. They've been in the mid 50s, actually went above 50. They now dropped down to 48 after the win against Oklahoma State. This game, win or lose, helps your RPI because of who you're playing. I mean, the RPI is an interesting uh, animal to deal with. Tail back up and in by an uncovered Nick Collison. He's got 15, and the Jayhawks have just grabbed out of their biggest lead today. What I've always figured when you're thinking of making the NCAA, you want to make it instead of let the committee put you in or out. Good just point. take care of business yourself. Gilbert trying to do that with that three right there. And a foul. It's on Missouri. It was on the rebounding try. And it goes against Justin Gage, who picks up his second. Just engaged, by the way, in all. Big 12, first team wide receiver for the football team. And that says a lot coming from the Big 12 Conference in football. The guy who brings toughness to Quinn Snyder's ball club. Gage took a couple of days off after football season, came to the basketball. Everybody thought, well, maybe he won't play. But uh, I think Quinn Snyder had a smile on his face when Justin Gage walked in and said, uh, hand me a practice uniform. Gage will check out. as a look at Quinn Snyder, who was the assistant head coach with Mike Krzyzewski and Duke. And then came here to Missouri. They've just redone his deal in the last year after he had the successful one win in the tournament a year ago. Full court pressure here by Kansas. Missouri beat Georgia before they eventually lost to Duke last season. Beat Georgia at the buzzer. Clarence Gilbert. The knockout punch there. Here's Gilbert. Gilbert does not get a lot of shots off his own dribble. Curry Rush in defense. A rebound by Heinrich Collison who scored the last eight points for Kansas. Langford with the game winner again last week. And Lincoln. And double teamed and forced to travel inside. Well, as every great Kansas team has been in Roy Williams ball clubs, you wait for these little runs that they make on the opponent. We've got a little one going right now here in the first half. Missouri needs a basket. Biggest lead of the game for the number one ranked Kansas State Hawks, Allen Beach. Missouri led by eight earlier on. Gilbert. Shot clock at 17. What a pass to Rush! And the same to Johnson, but he couldn't reel it in. Gilbert for three. And a rebound by Callison. Missouri's got to hit their shots to be successful. Well, open there. He's not going to get many open looks. Exchanging an open Gilbert three for what they had underneath sometimes is a better exchange. Johnson with the rebound. Langford foul for Kansas. 109 to play in the first half. The Missouri Tigers are shooting 37 percent. Kansas almost 53 percent in the first half. One of the keys that Kansas, uh, watching them all season long, Kevin, is the pace that they play. It's a conditioning game. Missouri's got to be able to be in such good condition to stay at this pace for 40 minutes. So is Arthur Johnson. From Detroit. Johnson. I told you a huge 18 point 14 rebound game against then number 12 Oklahoma State on Monday. Here at the Hearn Center. And coming Monday, March 11th, CBS is your ticket to unbelievable adventure on five continents and eight countries in a race around the world. Don't miss the premiere of The Amazing Race, Monday, March 11th, on CBS. With John Sundold, Kevin Harlan, Johnson again, and a rebound by Heinrich. They're approaching one minute to play. 51-44, top-ranked Kansas leading Missouri. If Kansas win, they go undefeated in conference play, 16-0. Two three zone by Missouri. The one guy on the floor for Kansas that you would not leave open. It's Kirk Heinrich who got the open look. Heinrich knocks down another three. He's got 13 points. He's got three three-point hits today. Must communicate in the defensive end. Kansas with their biggest lead of 10. Try to go inside of the Kansas foul. Hey, number 10. Heinrich is second. Take a look, the zone defense again, the one guy you would guard with this line that is out on the floor that you must get a hand in his face is Kirk Heinrich. 46% beyond the three-point line. Free throw shooting for Missouri now this afternoon. 11 of 19, Kansas 10 of 14. Rebounding, Missouri plus one. Rush. Really, it's been 
Nelson and Heinrich that have been the big guns for Kansas. Heinrich is now on the bench. Collison has had a nice first half of 17 points. Tigers back to man-to-man -man defensively. Good defense by Ferguson. Good. Is three of nine. He's got seven. It has settled, I think, for some uh, shots that you can get uh, any time in your offensive set. Big possession here for Missouri. It is. End of the half. A little momentum. Gilbert. He's got a fire. It's a pass to Johnson to beat the bucket. And that takes us at halftime. Missouri led by eight. Kansas has led by as many as ten. And Greg Gumbel is living up to its billing. 54-45, number one ranked Kansas, as we send it to you in our studios in New York. All right, thanks, Kevin. Coming up on Singular at the Half, we'll have scores and highlights, plus the story of how one Illini star responded to some frank criticism. That's up next after this message. And a word from your local station. Kansas is led by as many as 10. Missouri by as many as eight. Four ties, three lead changes. Kansas, the top team in the country. With John Sunbold, Kevin Harlan, great to have you with us this afternoon. You played in this Kansas-Missouri matchup when you were here well, with the Tigers. Like any rivalry, I think as a player, you feel it from the professors, students, and fans more than anything. It's a buildup. And how does Quinn Snyder, the current coach of the Missouri Tigers, feel about things? I think it's important for our guys to have a sense of the tradition and the rivalry. And in fact, we took uh, edits from tapes dating, you know, 10, 15 years back uh, to try to give our team uh, an even greater sense of history and what's at stake. And of course, as a player, he played five times against Kansas while at Duke. So he knows the tradition on one side. Now he's coaching Missouri and hoping to establish a continued tradition here with the Tigers. Kansas John finished the first half on a 13 to 4 run. Well, the big key, the 53% from the field. Missouri's either going to have to match it on their end on the offensive end or find a way to slow this Kansas team down. The things Missouri's going to have to get more of in that second half. Something more from their bench. No one from the bench attempted a shot in that first half. And Boshi now picked up his fourth personal foul. He's got four, and he'll be about ready to say Boshi's got to be careful. I wasn't sure if he reached or if Paulding simply lost control of the ball. But this has been a, uh, so far, disappointing afternoon for Jeff Boshi's last trip to the Hernson. After having a very good game in his last game at Allen Fieldhouse yeah. in Lawrence on Wednesday against Kansas State, Gilbert, Paulding, Trayvon Bryant, Rush, and Arthur Johnson out there for the Tigers. Poland shot puts one in. Good start. Tigers have to score early to stay in this ballgame. Holding has 11. And inside, Collison, who's been spectacular, 19 points in just over 14 minutes, four rebounds and two assists. Well, there are many that uh, are going to leave Nick Collison off the first team in the Big 12 All-Conference team, and they shouldn't. Heinrich Collison and Good Norris should be on that first team. Miles Rogers tied to Langford. And it's the biggest lead for the number one ranked Jayhawks this afternoon. You get it off one end and they push in a hurry. And he's trying to go undefeated in conference play. First time they will have done that as a school since the 70-71 season. Rush has been quiet. And Kareem only 4 of 11 shooting in the first half and a foul called on Kansas. A third foul is called on Heinrich. Collison inside has all the moves that every coach teaches, and he uses them. Very effective when he catches on the low block and a terrific pass from one freshman to the other. Miles to Langford, easy finish. Rush at the free throw line. A lot of questions, John, whether this young kid who is a first-team preseason AP All-America and has not had the kind of season he had envisioned will stay, or will this be his last home game? What do you think? Well, it's hard to tell. Uh, you know, you only need one team at that next level that wants you. And I think after the season, like any good coach, Quinn Schneider will sit down with Kareem Rush and they'll evaluate where he is and, and what the NBA thinks of. What do you think he should do? I think he should come back. This uh, season has really showed some weaknesses in his game, and there's some flaws there that they will truly exploit at the next level. Heinrich fires the 
fires one in to Collison, and Collison has been the star. 21 points for the Jayhawks and six of eight from the field. Rush again, double team. Good job by Collison. He shows, makes Rush pick up the dribble, then gets back to his own man. Clarence Gilbert has 16 points. Arthur Johnson snaps it up to Pauling for three. It's an eight-point game. And good patience by Arthur Johnson on the low block. Don't get in a hurry. If you're big enough, just take your time. Miles. Heinrich. How about the Missouri defense? Well, they stopped the initial phase right there by Kansas, but they'll come at you again. Oh, what a <laughs> shot by Heinrich. Loves to move to his right. He gets his left shoulder into the defender. Keeps the right arm, right hand away. The balance, concentration, the finish. Is he on your first team all Big 12? Oh, yeah. Uh, he has a chance he will get quite a few votes as player of the year in the conference, although I think Drew Gooden will win that award. But many coaches feel that when Heinrich goes out of the lineup, Kansas is an easier team to play against. They need him on the floor. Rush for three. Collison with the rebound for Kansas. He now has six with his 21 points. Miles piercing the lane and a foul. Better patience that time by Aaron Miles out front. Didn't go in a hurry. Pushed it and then took a look deep what the defense was giving him. But it's amazing when you take a look at the Kansas score. John, four players averaging more than 14 points a game for this team. Yeah, amazing. All consistent, all solid shooters. We mentioned in the first half, unselfish. Already with 13 assists as a team this afternoon, they will get up to that 20 mark once again. The average 21. Arthur Johnson will lead. Trayvon Bryant will re enter the game for Missouri. Rebound by Rush. 63 52. Number one, Kansas. Missouri's got to find ways to get good looks on the offensive end. Not just any jump shot. Justin Gage. Oh, good back to pass to Gilbert. Aaron Miles slipped and fell down, but Justin Gage recognition. Good dancing inside the lane. And a rebound by the toughest nails, Gage. And Gilbert bumping into Miles outside of the whistle. Good, a slow first half. And I think this coaching staff wants him to pick up the intensity. He's only 3 of 10 shooting. Yeah, he made a good ball fake last time. Made the defense turn their head. but just didn't finish the shot that he normally does. Miles comes out. They bring in Ballard. There goes Good. Here comes the freshman, Simeon. Holden with a three ball. John, he's come out of no place and been a huge factor for Missouri the last two games, and a three at the other end by Heinrich. And it's amazing there's not a hand in Heinrich's face. And I would expect uh, there to be a hand in Paulding's face. Again, I think he's been the most consistent of all the players on Missouri's team the whole season long. Look at the play by Heinrich. Rushes 4 of 12, shooting. Langford. Downer. Heinrich for three, and again, no one there, and a rebound by Gilbert. He'll put up a three. Heinrich with the rebound. In the rebounding category, we are tied at 24. Collison pass. to Simeon. Got to catch that one high, low, at an opening. Coming in, Kansas has won 13 consecutive games since their January 12th loss to UCLA. Bryant got it from Russia, a foul. Kansas was number one against UCLA back in mid-January. They lose out there by 10. They've rattled off 13 consecutive wins since that loss. When Kareem Rush puts it on the floor, you see the attention that he draws. Good pass that time. Trayvon Bryant rolling to the basket. It is Bryant, who at one time was recruited by Kansas. Must stay within striking range. Cannot let Kansas get on a big run. Yeah. Ooh. Missouri from the free throw line this afternoon. 14 of 23, just 41%. Kansas, 11 
and 17 in Kansas, a very good free throw shooting team. In fact, the best team they've had in that particular capacity in nine seasons. And Brian, a 57% free throw shooter, should be better because he has a nice stroke. He's a face up player, and they're all half court offense. Out of bounds and off of Simeon. So when we come back, Missouri will have it. It is a 66-57 game. Number one, Kansas, led by Nick Collison. And then he is. Who is he? 60 minutes tonight. Who is that? Nick? I can't tell. Saturday, the regular season winds down with championship weekend presented by Burger King featuring the Conference USA Championship. Both Big Ten semifinals and the Pac-10 Championship. For more, go to cbs.sportsline.com. America Online, keyword CBS Sportsline. Josh Kroenke back in for Missouri. 15.55, remaining in the second half. Clarence Gilbert, Arthur Johnson, and into the first and Simeon, and he schools them. Good matchup. Johnson and Simeon, two physical players. Seven point game. Heinrich again has been deadly and fouled as his hand was cocked and ready to fire. Heinrich has got 21. Collison has got 21. They lead Kansas to a good three of ten, seven points in the game. Many offensive weapons. This Jayhawk team. Pick your poison. And when you're guarding, who do you double team? Who do you leave open? John, I, I noticed that Roy Williams has been shortening his practices as this season has gone on. A typical thing for coaches to do at this stage well, of the season. I think so. If your uh, if your players will respond as you want them to on the floor during the ball game, but some coaches uh, teams are going the other way. You've got to spend more time in practice sessions to get them back to where you wanted them to be at this time of year. Foul. It's Kansas. Langford picks up his second. Boshi on the bench with four. Heinrich has three. Kevin with more whistles blown the second half. The, uh, the tempo has changed. A lot of stop balls, dead balls. Gilbert double team looking for Kroenke who had moved his spot. And the ball is thrown away. Kroenke a good shooter himself. Trying to find the open area. Nine turnovers for Missouri. Eight turnovers. For Kansas, the Jayhawks shooting 55%, Missouri 41%. Langford slips, vacuumed in by Heinrich. Ballard looking down low on a foul on the Missouri Tigers. Speed and execution. The speed out front, Langford and Heinrich handling. Ballard put a good pass, Simeon. The, the power down low, established position. Langford. Approaching five minutes gone here in the second half. Nice steal by Arthur Johnson. Oh, good hands. That's a big body up there, too. Well, and the key for Arthur Johnson, second leading shot blocker in the conference, is his soft hands. He catches. I think they should find him more inside in this ballgame. Rush with another miss. He's got four of 14 shooting this afternoon. Look at the speed of Hyder. The rejection by Johnson. There goes Gage. Here comes what about Bryant back in for the Missouri Tigers. Now we just mentioned second in the conference in block shots. Rarely leaves his feet for a ball fake. He'll wait till his uh, the offensive player goes up first. 28 seconds on the shot clock. Gritton is in. Heinrich, Greg Ballard, Langford, and Simeon. Langford leaning. Lost it. It's Rush. Well, they're on a quick John. Gilbert with three ball. Crockney saves the ball. Trayvon Bryant. Rush for three. Waiting for one of these teams to take charge on the offensive end. Kansas has wasted about three or four opportunities, and Missouri had two until that shot. It's a six-point game. Kansas led by 11, and Missouri has come roaring back. They're back in business. with a good screen. Rush fights his way through it. Shot clock at 13. Heinrich and Gilbert. Good over Johnson. 
Rebound by Bryant through Gooden is three of 11. And Missouri needs the guy with the ball right now to produce. Gilbert down low with the fake. It's a four point game. These freshmen of Kansas, so impressive. They start a point guard, Aaron Miles. They bring Simeon and Langford as the first two guys off the bench. Confident in their abilities, confident with their teammates, and their uh, elder statesmen are confident in these guys to produce. Langford at the free throw line, 69%. No one is more persistent than lobbing the U.S. to invade Iraq and overthrow here. Saddam Hussein than he is. You'll meet him tonight on 60 Minutes. Followed by the education of Max Bickford. And then Diane Keaton and Jennifer Jason Lee starring Crossed Over. It's tonight on CBS with John Sunbold, Kevin Harlan. In the Rocket Hearn Center on the Norm Stewart Court. Langford at the line. Kansas is led by 11. They lead now by five. Right, Nash will come in for Langford. Gives him another active body. Nash at 6'6", six, six, near the 6'7". Defensively will guard Paulding. The matchup, Heinrich on rush. Heinrich has three fouls. Miles back in. Stokes now at the point for Missouri. A bad pass to Paulding. Ricochet is out of bounds. Good job by Kansas defensively. Nash and Heinrich switch the screens down low. Turnover, they, even a 10. And they force Stokes to throw it in a hurry. Gage is on Heinrich. Wide open is Miles for three. Collison there, trying to get the ball. Bryant. Had it knocked away by KU. And a foul. Collison. On Collison, yes. He's got two. Boshi again on the bench with four. Heinrich has three. Johnson from Missouri has three. Justin Gage has a three tag on him. Holding. Rick Nash there. Stokes. Needs some help. Used his dribble. Missouri shooting 41%. They have hit eight three point shots. Kareem Rush. He can detonate with that quick first step as fast as anyone in the country. The Missouri Tigers on a 14-6 run. Kansas has had one field goal in the last six minutes. And let's see their patience on the offensive end. Collison. The defense by Bryant and Rush. What about shot clock at 18. Cream Rush they're working more on the offensive end to free him up. The ball fake, both Nash and Heinrich late. Rush with such a soft touch around the rim. He's got 17. Under 12 to play in regulation. We'll see if Gooden gets a look. Shot clock now down to seven. Better go. I don't know if Heinrich realizes it. Here comes Heinrich with the crossover over Pauling. He missed it all. Picked up by Kareem Rush, who now has six rebounds. With a three, they get the lead. Pauling. Rush and a foul. It's called on Brian Nash, who has been unable to inoculate himself with the moves of Rush since he's come off the Kansas bench. Well, more active on the offensive end. Kareem Rush now in the low post. Get your star player touches. And I think, again, Kansas on their offensive end. Gooden needs to see the ball now. The Big 12's number two scorer. The number nine three-point shooter. Langford will set the check in for Brian Nash, who's having a hard time with defense. Number one, Kansas, has won 13 consecutive games. If they win today, an undefeated conference record, which will be the first time it has happened in the brief history 
of the Big 12. The last time Kansas went unbeaten in conference play, 1970-71. But Missouri has won five of the last six games against Kansas and Columbia, which sets the stage now for a two-point game. Heinrich inside to Miles and a foul. That was a crash with Bryant Miles. And very typical of Kansas play this year. Not worried that they're only hit by two. Missouri is clawed back. They got a missed rebound and they attack in a hurry. Good pass from Heinrich and Miles, smart enough to take it to the rim. Kansas is led by as many as 11 in this second half. Missouri led early by eight. Kansas is shooting 51% from the field. Missouri trying to make it 42%. As Miles hits the first free throw. John, we are not completely sold Missouri is in the NCAA tournament. With 20 wins and nine losses, it would appear they are. A win today over Kansas would be huge. Yeah, big wins over Oklahoma State, Alabama, Xavier. They've got a good resume. CBS Sports coverage of NCAA men's basketball will continue after this message. And a word from your local CBS station. But Kansas comes in 26 and 2. Missouri 20 and 9. Those are some of the numbers. Well, again, the field goal percentage. Missouri behind, but the three-point field goals, it catches you up in a hurry. Heinrich, big ball game. Clarence Gilbert on senior day. A big ball game. Missouri out there with Gage, Clarence Gilbert, holding Johnson and Stokes. Kansas with Gooden. Collison up front. Guards Langford, Heinrich, and the freshman. They're in miles at the point. Missouri down by four, approaching 11 minutes to play in regulation. Matchup zone defense, kind of 1 3 1 across. Have to make sure they match up with Gilbert and Calder. Good hands. Good knocked it away. Shot clock at 13. Now they're going to rush. Here comes Stokes. Inside to Arthur Johnson over Collison. And a rebound by the freshman Langford. Kansas, no field goals in the last six minutes. Intercepted by Stokes. Good defensive play. Again, Aaron Miles got caught on that baseline too deep. Stokes read it well. Gilbert has 20. Stokes working on the freshman mile. Away by Collison, picked up by Langford, triggered up now to Miles. Aaron Miles missing again. Miles all of four shooting this afternoon. Possession so important, but neither team capitalized. Aaron Miles, two straight trips, the turnover, and then a quick shot. We got guys like Collison and Gooden inside. Arthur Johnson pulls Cruz's way up for two. How about a good in touch right here? Gooden has in sports in 16-21 left in this second half. Good defense by Justin Gage. Collison has been the force inside. Good knock away by Jackson. Missouri has hit eight three-point shots. Gilbert with the dance. Oh, rejected by Collison at the other end. What a ball game he's played. Screen by Miles into Gooden from Heinrich. Langford with the rebound, snaps it on top to Miles. Gooden started the game three of six. He is now full of his subsequent six shots. Knocked away by Johnson. And what Gage is doing defensively is staying on the floor. Nice defense by Langford as he was dueling with Paulin at the other end. It has started to become a physical game. Number one, Kansas being put for the second consecutive weekend, leading by two. EA Sports coverage of the Road to the Final Four is sponsored by Microsoft, helping you make the connections that make your business agile. Software for the agile business from Microsoft. AT&T Long Distance, let your long distance be unlimited. And by Bud Light. For the great taste that won't fill you up and never lets you down, make it a Bud Light.
Number one, Kansas has missed seven consecutive shots and not helping the cause today for the Jayhawks, Drew Gooden. He has not scored a field goal in the last 21 minutes. He also, John, has no rebounds in the second half. And he has not won in the Hearns Center. And is Kansas now in his junior season? That was for a time. Heinrich shoving it the other way. Great steal by Rush who steps out of bounds. And Jeff Boshi back in for personal fouls. We will see if he can get his shot going. Oh, good camera work there. The heels are on the line. The right heel. Good hustle, though, by Rush. Heinrich looking to attack again. Rebounding even at 32 apiece. Turnovers, 12 for Kansas, 11 for Missouri. Gooden, Heinrich, Boshi, Miles, and Simeon. A couple of freshmen out there for the Jayhawks. Great pass by Gooden. Heinrich couldn't convert. Rebound by Jackson. Rush to top. Boshi with the rebound. Will not miss many of those, point blank. who has fresh legs but really has not been involved in this game. We'll see how he responds. He has shot the ball so well last few weeks. He makes it down to three, the 28th consecutive game that Jeff Boshi, the all-time leading three-point shooter in the history of the Jayhawks, has hit a three-point shot. And that is not easy to do. He has been on that sideline most of this second half with four personal fouls. Just came in the game off the screen, fires away. In the Big 12, Kansas on top at 15-0, Missouri at 9-6. John, how good top to bottom is the Big 12 this season? Well, you're looking at the top two teams as potential number one seeds. That is power and strength in itself. Texas, Oklahoma State, Texas Tech will all be in the NCAA tournament. Missouri probably will be there also. A solid league top to bottom. Gage will check out. Trayvon Bryant will check in. So. For the Missouri Tigers, Cronky Gilbert at the free throw line. Johnson and Rush. And the first is in. There's a four point Kansas lead. Free throw shooting today, Missouri 42%. 16 of 27. Kansas 16 of 23. It's a three point game. Number one on the line for the Jayhawks. And there you see the numbers with a 74 71. Kansas lead over Missouri with John Sunbold, Kevin Harlan. No team in college basketball this year has gone undefeated in conference play. Kansas trying to be the first of the season. Kevin, difficult when you start matching up with teams that know you so well. You play home and away, and you try to think, can you get through a league undefeated? And Roy Williams, they're on the verge of that now, but this is the most difficult building that these guys play. You're in, you're out. Miles. Looking for Gooden, who's going against Bryant. He's played a pretty good game against Gooden this afternoon. Boshi. They have stayed on the floor with Drew Gooden and not taken any fakes. I think Bryant will pick up a foul trying to push Gooden off the block. Those are the types of fouls that sometimes uh, wakes up an offensive play. I mean, Gooden getting pushed in the back. Didn't like it. So for the last six seasons, Missouri has dealt Kansas its first conference loss of the season. And twice, John, as Kansas was going undefeated in conference play. 15-1 in 97 for the Jayhawks, 15-1 in 98 for Kansas. Both losses, ironically enough, here in Columbia. All right, you think of the 97 team. It was upset in the round of 16. Pollard, Vaughn, Haas, LaFrance, Billy Thomas, Paul Pierce. Arizona knocked them off 85-82. Uh, this team is compared to that team, and we'll go back in double overtime. Corey Tate picks a ball off the floor to give North Stewart and Missouri Tigers the win. Kansas by five with 7.35 to play. Got a defense for the Jayhawks. We have two three zone right now. It's going to match up. Yeah, must find the shooter in a hurry. Rush continues to struggle, 6 of 19 for the field. And Miles and the Collison has a quiet second half going, although 21 points is second on the team. Heinrich has 23. Out of bounds, shot clock at 22 seconds. Missouri on the offensive end, when they handle the ball, have more movement, they're getting better shots. When they have one pass, quick shot, they're not converting. Allows Kansas to come down, set up offensively. 
they're trying to get the ball to Collison down low. Rocky is out. Rush, Paulding, Gage, Gilbert, and Johnson to five for the Tigers. Collison, nice spin fade away, which puts the Jayhawks up 78 to 71. Gilbert's been quiet in the second half. He has. They've done a nice job of quickly getting to him when he catches. They can put it on the floor, try to beat you off the dribble. Not his game. Gilbert's got 22. Inside a nice move and two right there. And it goes to Kareem Rush. 20 points for Rush, the junior. Langford. Good. And his first hit from the field in over 23 minutes. And Rush, I would expect more from Goodman. The last six minutes of this game, he'll look to shoot. That's a shot three by Ricky Pauling. He's got 20 points for Missouri. Five three-point hits for Pauling this afternoon. And we've got a four-point game. Collison handcuffed inside. And a little bit too much so on a Missouri foul. With 6.04 to play. Ball movement, body movement has freed up this Tiger offense. When they're patient, they've had open looks. Boshi got caught up on a screen down low. You mentioned Ricky Paulding, five for six from the three-point line, 20 points. Another big afternoon. Gage has the foul. Gage will take a breather. Collison now 10 of 11 shooting free throws tonight on 60 minutes. No one is more persistent in lobbing the U.S. to invade Iraq and overthrow Saddam Hussein than this guy is. Just seen tonight on 60 minutes. Six minutes to play. Holding open for three. Taps it in as he floats down the lane and brings the Tigers to within three. The drive and the set. Rebound by Arthur Johnson. Gooden has been short on a number of shots this afternoon. Gilbert. Oh, tough basket. It's a one-point game. The Missouri Tigers are on a 7-1 to one run. Good set play for Gooden to get the ball down low. Turn quickly to get the shot up. Gilbert picked up the foul. It looked like Arthur Johnson had a clear, clean block, but Gilbert from behind couldn't go the foul line. Kansas has taken 27 free throw attempts this afternoon. Missouri, 28. I'll take a look defensively as uh, after the foul was called. Clarence Gilbert. Through Gooden again. Three point game. 5 14 to play. Gilbert has missed six consecutive three point attempts. Johnson to make it a one point game. Rejected by Collison. Good to Langford. Slithers down. The Jayhawks by five again with under five to play. Once they have an opportunity, they take advantage. They don't pull it back out. They attack. Good block again by Collison. What an afternoon he has had. Rush. And a foul on Kansas. Collison was in his way. And he picks up his third of the game with his 24 points. And a spectacular afternoon. Seven rebounds. Rush at the line. The Jayhawks in the conference, which was then the Big Eight in 70-71 with Ted Owens as the coach going 14-0. But Kansas, when they were in the Missouri Valley Conference in the early 20s, went 16-0. 22-23 season. Good. For 
Heimer cannot buy a basket. Halfway down. Good pass by Heimer. Missouri plus two and rebound. Gilbert. They've doubled him every time he's got the ball. Rush against Heinrich. Oh, good defense. Tough pass. Holding into three. Another block and another Kansas foul. Kansas frustrated on the defensive end. They think the last two possessions they've gone straight up. Missouri attacking. Take a look at the defense on rush by Heinrich. He will get up in the air, has nowhere to go. Now makes the pass, and here comes Paul to inside. Hmm. Quinn Snyder likes it. Holding at the free throw line, a shot bar from the point. 75% free throw shooter. And with the conclusion of today's game, John and I will select the Chevrolet most valuable player of the game from each team. Chevrolet will make a contribution to each school's general scholarship fund. A tradition for 30 years. Holding again. Two point game. 414 to play. Number one, Kansas. Their arch rival, Missouri. Inside to the double team grip. Intercepted by Rush. And Missouri can tie or take the lead with this possession. Rush for the tie. Rejected by Langford. And a charge on Rush. Put it on the floor. This time he comes full court. But attack the basket defensively. They try to get there. Jeff Boshi does. The Missouri Tigers and Kareem Rush trying to redefine their season. They're within two of number one Kansas. Coming up after this game, we go to the Big Ten, where number 15, Illinois, will take on the Minnesota Golden Gophers. The Illini in Minnesota next on CBS from Williams Arena on the campus. And there you take a look at Norm Stewart. What an incredible career he had here. 634 wins, 32 seasons, and the court is named the Norm Stewart coat with his beautiful wife, Virginia, and his son. Over 700 total wins. He also coached at Northern Iowa prior, prior to coming back to Missouri. All-American baseball and basketball player here. And your coach. Yes, sir. Boshi is in with four fouls. Gooden is in an off-day shooting. Expect to have better spacing this time then. Heinrich has 23 points. Better spacing allows looks for Heinrich or Boshi and frees up the inside. He'll switch in the corner. And a foul called on Collison. That was some kind of rebound inside by Justin Gage. If anybody gives the Tigers their teeth, it is Gage. Now yeah, the good spin move by Heinrich and simply can't finish. And there's Justin Gage. You mentioned the all Big 12 wide receiver on the Missouri football team. The strength, the power comes up with that ball. Kansas has lost two consecutive games here in Columbia. Gage at the free throw line. In this second half, the Missouri Tigers have gotten to within one twice to within two three times. They have trailed by as many as 11 early in the second half. And Missouri had the biggest lead of eight early in the game. It'll be interesting to watch the last 331 of this, Kevin. Who, Which team is loosened? Which one will have a smile on their face? Which one tenses up as this comes down the stretch? Well, with an undefeated conference record riding on this game, i got to believe Kansas is very tight right now. And we'll see how they perform. Missouri looking for the upset, but trying to get free. He's had a horrible afternoon shooter. Saved by Heinrich. Great fake rush pit. And that drops in. And that gives the Kansas Jayhawks a three-point lead. A three for the top. I think you might match up with Clarence Gilbert as he's bringing it down the floor. Miscommunication. Gilbert with another one. Collison for the lead. Oh, what a touch. Collison's got 26 points. Missouri has hit 10 three-point shots this afternoon. Kansas, six. March Eight. Madness. Great players making great plays. Holding for the time. Langford! Oh, 
happened. What a move! A mesmerizing move by the freshman who won the game at Lincoln last week with a three-point shot. The spin, and here's the grab by Gage, and the finish we talked about Langford's confidence. Doesn't mind having the ball coming off the screen looking for the shot. The ability to shoot the jump shot or put it on the floor to the rim and also has a great mid-range game. Gage is gone. Fouled out but gives this team like I said before the toughness that at times they have lacked this season. He is the one guy that will bang bodies underneath. You need a little push and a shove. Justin usually gets it for his team. The Missouri Tigers 43 percent from the field Kansas 50 percent from the floor turnovers 13 for the number one ranked Jayhawks and 12 for Missouri and here is the CBS Sportsline stand of the game the bench with the devastating Kansas Jayhawk advantage there the complete game stats at cbs.sportsline.com or America Online keyword CBS Sportsline Kevin Harlan and John Sundbold in a frenzied Hearn Center in Columbia, Missouri. Langford with 14 of the 18 bench points for Roy Williams. Langford one of two from the strike. Trying to complete the three-point play. Rebound by Paulding. Wow, that barely touched. He barely touched the rim. He's a freshman. Hasn't played that way though outside of that free throw. Yeah, that's exactly right. <laughs> Rush. Johnson. That ties the game at 91. The Missouri Tigers are looking to get their first lead since 36-35 in the first half. The high screen and roll, and Arthur Johnson does not put the ball on the floor, simply takes it straight up over the smaller man and converts. Tigers with the lead. A number one ranking and maybe an undefeated conference season on the line for the Jayhawks. Good. Heinrich. has been in enough close ball games on the road. They won at Iowa State overtime at Texas last Sunday by a point in Lincoln at Nebraska. A career high for Collison with his 28. Johnson, shot clock at 20. Rush inside for the lead. And a rebound by Goodman that couldn't have come at a better time. His first second half rebound. Well, I can't believe the shot. You have a one-point lead on the road, a minute 10 left. Timeout taken. Right now, let's take a look at our Nextel tournament favorite. In 1995's Western Region second round game against UCLA, Julian Winfield hit what he thought was the game winning basket with under 10 seconds to play to give the Tigers a one point lead. UCLA called time, and Tyus Edney did the rest. UCLA won it 75 74. And they went on to the Final Four and to win the national championship. And there is a connection to Tyus Edney in this building today. The guy who played at the same high school as him. That mop of hair there belonging to Wesley Stokes. And earlier this season with 4.8 seconds left, Wesley Stokes took one coast to coast, the game winner over St. Louis University in St. Louis. Kevin surprised by the shot from uh, Miles there so quickly. Not as surprised as the Kansas coaching <laughs> staff was. Roy Williams just about blew a gasket when he saw it. Yeah, that's on the floor I now, they've got Langford, Boshi, Good, Collison, and Heinrich, and the freshman Miles on the bench. Now learning lessons all the time. 
You can see what the Tigers have done. BYU and Kansas, their first Big 12 loss in each of the last six seasons. Johnson, Gilbert, Paulding, Rush along with Trayvon Bryant for the Missouri Tigers. 93-92, Kansas and a five. That's Bo Shoot. Oh, it's a travel. Wow, it's a travel. Call. And Bo Shoot right call. when it happened. And that is a turnover for Missouri. Take a look as he crosses over the dribble right here. He carries a double dribble. Great call. Bo Shoot right on top of him. A lot of fans saw Bo Shoot picked up his fifth. An outstanding free throw shooting team, this Kansas ball club. Best in nine years for the school. John, how does Kansas attack him here? Right, you're poised. You, you've got good shooters. Keep the ball spread. Get it in Heinrich or Boshi coming off the screen. Got Allison and good in that low. What about Missouri's defense? Got to stay with him. Stay in front. No fouls. Heinrich, good. Taps it in. What a play by Drew Gooden. Quinn Snyder will want a timeout now to set up a three-point shot. Actually, there's no timeout. Near three. Now, some coaches foul in this situation. Rush. Holding an interception by Boshi. Who did the same thing in Lincoln last week? Great knock away by Porter. Plenty of time left. And a timeout taken by Missouri. What a finish. March has come in like a lion in the Big 12. Floyd rivalries taking center stage today in Columbia, Missouri. Josh Kroenke now in the lineup, another shooter for this Missouri team. Gilbert on the floor, Rush on the floor. Here we go, six seconds. Many teams foul in this situation, so they can't get a three up. Gilbert for the time. Rebound shot taken by Heinrich and Kansas as well. They have gone undefeated in conference play, the only team in college basketball's Division I to do so. Impressive. What a year for this Kansas team. Our Chevrolet most valuable players of the game for Kansas. Nick Collison, a career high 28 points for Missouri. Ricky Paulding with 23. And Paulding this afternoon knocked down five three point shots. Chevrolet will make a contribution to each school's general scholarship fund. They got a look. Gilbert on the fly. A little strong. Good block out from Kansas. What a season. And it's only, uh, this is only one of their goals. What a way to begin March. Number one, Kansas with the win, 95-92. So now for John Sunkel, this is Kevin Harlan saying long, so long from Columbia, Missouri. Coming up next, it's game three of our triple header as number 15, Illinois, takes on Minnesota. This has been a presentation of CBS Sports, home of the men's NCAA Basketball Championship. Perfect mark in the history of the Big 12 Conference. If they can beat Missouri under 30 seconds, Drew Gooden with the putback. And here is the final shot of this ball game. Clarence Gilbert, the only senior from Missouri. And he misses badly. He did have a huge game, but not big enough. Missouri falls by 3, 95-92. So Kansas 16-0 in conference play. First time a Kansas squad has done that since the 22-23 team won all 16 Missouri Valley Conference games. So Kansas also sweeps the series series in for Missouri for the first time since the 94-95 season. Collison with 28, Heinrich with 22. Gooden does not shoot the ball well, but still gets it done, as does Kansas by three. Time for the club, that's 17 and 17, the last 34 dribbles. Things are, however, looking up for the Spurs. A win in Minnesota Friday, and guess what? They get the Knicks today. Woohoo! Break up those Knicks. They've won one in a row, going for the first back to back wins in over a month. Kurt Thomas, he averages one assist a game, gets one right there to C Spoon. New York down by four, though. Later in the first, Spurs up six. David Robinson averages eight rebounds a game, gets one there. He also. Throws in 12 a game and gets a deuce. Spurs up by eight at that juncture. Still in the first quarter. Nick's down at eight spot. Thomas, he's not given this time. He's taken. Lift, lid, and flush. Kurt Thomas, 15 points thus far in the game at the half. And last check, we were at the half. Now we're in the third quarter. Orange wedges have been consumed and thrown away. It's the Spurs up by 19. 321 to go in the third quarter. Tim Duncan. 20 points and 9 rebounds, just a rebound away from his 49th double-double, or make that his uh, 
49th double-double in 59 games this season. Duncan has 11 30-plus point games, just a little shy of that. Knicks come in losers of six of their last seven.